fam. You ain't ready for this. It's big money, big cars, big moves. It's muscle tone, bra, there ain't nothing to prove. The best breeze from the States to the outback. Keep your eyes peeled, guaranteed you gon' learn that. Been stopped, big boss on lock. If a cane one was God, it would be this dog. So it's a Sunday morning, and we have a Cars and Coffee in Fort Myers. Unfortunately, it's overcast, as you can all see outside. So it's not an ideal day to take the cars out for a drive. Um, the show, the show is in actually Fort Myers, the Cars and Coffee is in Fort Myers, and we usually race all the way there, which I love doing. So I was really looking forward to it today. I usually take the SLS Black Series, and she takes the Aventador. Um, and you know, we go back and forth, and we race all the way down, and we just enjoy the weather and all that. But since the weather sucks, we're going to work instead. So today we're gonna discuss extremes. So follow us. So we're about to head to Home Depot or Ace Hardware. We gotta find all the tools that we need. We need a table, we need some sort of carpet or fake grass for his feet to, to grip to. We need a pole of some sort. We need a rope of some sort to hold his head up on his collar or maybe just a leash that we can attach to the pole. Uh, we're gonna have to fabricate some things. We might be able to find things that are pretty easy to just slap together. But it's gotta be sturdy because these are heavy dogs. We're talking 80 to 100 pound dogs. So we gotta find something sturdy where it's not gonna collapse. So follow me. All right, so we're heading over to Ace Hardware. It's the closest spot I can go to by my house. Uh, Home Depot is about five miles, I wanna say, and Ace about a mile and a half. So we're gonna try Ace first. Hopefully we find everything that we need to put this together. Um, if not, we're gonna make a drive to Home Depot and get this done. I know I took the rabbits with the top down and, and a forecast day, but it's starting to clear up and I'm almost wondering if I should've actually went to the cars and coffee instead of working, but too late now, we missed the occasion. So here we are, we just arrived at Ace Hardware. Unfortunately, a lot of pole in the sky, so I don't think it's a good idea that I park in this particular spot. So let's reverse and find another spot where we can park properly. There we go. I love this car. So easy to drive, unreal. Let's go. Okay, so we were able to find what we needed, which is a wicket. So we can measure the height. Obviously this thing goes up to 47 inches. Our dogs are 14 inches at the most, 15. 15 is like cutting it close, being too tall for a muscle tone dog. Uh, we breed pocket extremes, not standard extremes. So we like them short. We're trying to even shrink them a little more than that. Um, we're gonna shrink height, not width. So we're gonna get a ruler as well to help measure the width because it's gonna be kind of complicated with this. But usually you could do with both. So I'm going to find a ruler that, you know, around 20 some inches long, if possible. And that's where we're gonna grab. Unfortunately, if I don't find all I need here, I'm gonna to have to make a trip to Home Depot. All right, so I got the wicket and I got the ruler. Um, obviously I cannot fit a table in this car, but my wife is with the Escalade on her way to Home Depot right now. She's they making the trip for us. And um, she's gonna buy what we need for the table and something for the dogs to lay on and, you know, for their feet to grip. Probably, probably fake grass would look nicer on the table than carpet. And some glue, so we can glue it on the table. Um, I believe I have a pole with a little leash on it that we use to cut the dog's nails, so we're gonna use that. I can show you guys where to get that on Amazon. Um, so for now, what I'm gonna do to buy some time is I'm going to go and get some gas because we are low on fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Nine miles a gallon, this 900 horsepower vehicle. Believe me, you don't wanna wait past a certain percentage and I'm at really, really low fuel. When I say low, I'm talking like 5%. Okay, gas station trip. So my wife put this table together. She's amazing. So green grass, fake grass on a table, just a pretty much basic little table that you could buy anywhere for like picnics or for putting outside, a little fold up table. And this I already had, I can't remember where I got it, it was on Amazon somewhere. It's just to hold up dog up we use it to trim the dog's nails. Uh, we used to use it to trim the dog's nails. Now we're just gonna like hold them. But I should go back to using that, it's probably easier. Anyhow, then we got the wicket and the ruler. So the wicket opens up on the bottom. Now I wanna tell everyone who buys a wicket like this one, that when you measure your, when you measure your numbers on this wicket, you remember that over here there's a two inch gap, which is this gap here. So this is this. So your measurements are always from the bottom not from the top, okay? I don't know why this is not opening. Anyhow, we'll show you how this is done here in a minute. 
Let's get the dog on the table and let's get going. You have the dog stacked properly on the under. This is legs underneath him and straight forward, okay? Now this is the next step. All right, so, sorry, I got the sun in my eyes, but to give you guys an idea, pick up his butt, baby. So we had to put the wicket on him properly. So as you guys see, it's flat on the ground. Can I see? It's getting the sun on me. Okay, and it's perfectly straight. So this is his measurement right here. Not here, but here because of the lack that's at the bottom, right? So it's 14 inches and a quarter, 14 inches and a quarter. So that's the prob prob proper way to measure the dog. So notice it's also right there, the beginning of his neck, not his lower back, but his neck, see? That's where his neck is, his hump, all right? And it's flat on the floor. And these are the numbers, just to give you guys a better idea so you guys can see the whole thing. All right, now we're gonna measure the chest. So this is the, the proper way to measure the dog in the width, okay? So right at the edge. So as you see where his shoulders end, just right here. As you can see, where his shoulders end. 15 and a half, approximately. All right, guys, so now we all know how to measure properly your American bully. Height to the withers and the shoulder spread from shoulder to shoulder. Now, a lot of people ask this question. Uh, can someone overspread the dog and make him seem wider? Not really. Um, shoulders are always where they are. You can move the legs out as far as you want, but you're not measuring from the bottom of the feet and you're not measuring at the elbows. You are measuring at the shoulders, and the shoulders are always where they're at. So, so it's, it's always an, an, an accurate uh, measurement. Now. Sometimes when your dog has a little more weight on him, his shoulders might spread a little bit. You might gain about a quarter inch to half an inch, but no more than that. Um, and that's, you know, when you get him ready for a show, you get him in, in, in condition, if the dog's been exercising quite a bit, you'll build a little more muscle on those shoulders and, and you will gain a little mass, a little spread, which is important. So, you know, we've had Kong at, you know, just under 16 inches when he was here for the uh, stack of the house. He was like at the 15 and 0.9, just under 16 inches if you go back and look at that video. So it was like maybe a quarter inch bigger. Uh, and that was with a lot of work and endurance and, and preparation. Obviously now he's just chilling at the house and he's a little, you know, not been running a lot lately. It's too hot out. So anyways, but that's beside the point. A quarter inch, half an inch are not the issue. As long as the dog is wider than he is tall, or at least as wide as he is tall, he's good for a stack off competition. Um, and, and it goes from that. So now we're talking a dog that's, an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter, wider than the install. Some of my dogs are quite a bit more, like Beanstalk is about the same height as uh, King Kong, 14 inches, might be even shorter a bit, but he's, you know, 19 inches in spread. So that's that's huge, you know, we're talking a majorly wide dog. So different dogs, different situations, but again, he's not as clean or as correct as King Kong. So like I always say, anyone can make a big dog. And anyone can make a show dog. To make an extreme, massive, big dog that is also clean and correct enough to be in the show ring. So to make it, to push him as far as you can without the dog falling apart, that, that is the difficult thing to do that only Muscle Tone has been able to master for 20 some years straight, over and over and over and over again. I don't think there's another kennel ever in the history of, of the American Bully breed that has ever produced that level of extreme at that consistency. Um, also, we've never been defeated in any stack offs. We are still the kings of stack off. So this is why we're doing this video today. It's, you know, we feel that we have reached a level where we can actually speak upon this and say, hey guys, this is how it's done. Because it's coming from a place of experience and a place of work and a place of accomplishment, not just that, right? So now, being that being said, Dave Wilson called me and asked me to judge the ABKC Jacksonville, Florida show for the stack off competition. So I'm judging the stack off competition. This is an ABKC sanctioned event with their own judges, but the stack off competition is judged by me. So I will see you all in Jacksonville, Florida on March 30th this year, 2024. This is a show that's being thrown by Tone. I wanna see everyone there. I'm gonna have a few surprises for you. So until then, watch this video clip of all our stack offs.
Bully, unless it's a mock tone bully.